Hello, we're really excited to launch the highly anticipated Zenforo plugin. In this video, we will walk you through how to install the plugin on your forum. Just follow these easy steps. First, log into your Zenforo customer account. Once you've logged in, simply type VigLink into the search box. Once you've done that, select VigLink 1.0.1. You'll see an orange box that says Download Now. Click that to download the plugin. Now, log into your site's admin. In the example, our forum is called High Altitude Imports. From here, you will need to upload the contents of the backslash upload folder to the root directory of your forum via FTP. From the home page, click the add-on square. Next, click the button that says Install Add-on in the upper right-hand corner. Click Choose File and select the XML file that was downloaded to your computer. Now click Install Add-on. Heads up, this might take a little while to process. And it's still processing. Still processing. And voila! You will now see BigLink as one of your installed add-ons. Next, under the Home tab, click Options. In the Filter Items box, type in BigLink and then select it. From here, you'll need to put in your BigLink API key, which can be found in your BigLink dashboard under Manage and Accounts. Copy your API key and paste it in the BigLink key box. Now you have a number of options to customize how you want to use BitLink on your forum. You'll see we've broken up customization by our two product offerings, BitLink Convert and BitLink Insert. We offer different preferences so that you can determine which of your users are served affiliate links. The way this forum is set up, there are seven user groups, Administrative, Banned, Moderating, Premium Member, Registered, Super Moderators, and Unregistered slash Unconfirmed. Say, for example, you want to show all users convert links, you would simply select all boxes under Convert User Groups. However, if you only want to show Insert Links to unregistered slash unconfirmed users, then you'd only select that group under Insert. Once you've selected your preferences, click Save Changes. And there you go. That's all you have to do. We hope you found this video helpful. Please like, share, and comment. Have a great day.